Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Masha, I'm a self-taught artist <laughs> and crafter and today I'm pleased to review probably one of the most unique and like technology um, art supply on the market. It's the Resiners Air um, Airless Bubble Remover and um, to be honest I am considering myself a beginner in resin arts and I would be very very curious to test how this works uh, now I'm using a regular heat gun and I don't see any problems with it but I'm really curious what the machine can do because it is set to remove 99% of the bubbles and I did all the science I read up all the comparisons uh, with other methods behind it and if you're not a video person you can check in the description of my video the link to my full review article where I actually put details about alternative methods and heat guns but now I'm reviewing this beauty uh, and I will share in this video what I liked and what I did not quite like about the machine and the most importantly is it worth the money <laughs> So let's start with unpacking. This is the box that the Resiners Air Bubbles Airless Bubble Remover Machine comes with, and we're Art Me Tech. I think that's a very cool motto. So the box is simple, it's colorful, it's beautiful, it gives you the resin art vibe, and it has all the important details about the bubble removals, how the LED screen looks. So, okay, let's dig in, let's unpack this. So you can see it packed nicely this plastic form has a little softy inside there is instructions they're very useful it has all the details what you can and cannot do how to actually use it um, some troubleshooting and um, some notes and frequently asked questions it comes also with uh, American tag and I think around one meter cable uh, you will have 10 cups they are very nice sturdy cups with uh, all the volumes uh, marked up to 250 milliliters I'm gonna definitely use them and of course the machine the beauty itself it has two parts the open chamber and the lid with um, the buttons so let's see. So this is the, the greenish one, the mint color one. This is the lid that goes on the chamber. It's pretty hefty. Uh, so it has just LED screen and three buttons. And the chamber is very sturdy. It's very nice plastic. It's not glass but it's a very durable plastic and it has a, a ring down uh, there so when it vibrates it does not create uh, a lot of noise cups on up to 500 milliliters will work with the chamber so these are 250 milliliters cups i have also another cup with a handle it will also work well here and i also have a one liter cup it can fit but because of the handle it will not be able to move so i cannot use it so if you have something similar without handle you can technically fit in but uh, based on instructions up to 500 milliliters you can uh, use with the machine so the lid goes up like this it um, creates vacuum so it's uh, closed tightly while it's working and you can see how compact uh, compact uh, it is just like size of my hand um, so it's super easy to store even in, in your room the LED screen has only three buttons it's super easy to um, navigate and in instructions you can actually see there are some important notes for example the air plug when you will get it it's closed uh, this is the uh, and when you use it it should be also closed as you can see it ha uh, everything is marked in the instructions you will only open it when you are done with the process and also there is this um, important um, degreasing uh, hole that it should be always clean 
so yeah if you have any questions you can always read the notes and you can just uh, look around there is not many things you can be confused about yeah keep this degrees in hole clean and yeah that's that's it now let's see how this machine will actually remove bubbles from resin as i already showed you it comes with a few cups so we're gonna just use one of these cups it has all the measurements um on it so it will be easy to measure now it's important to consider what your epoxy calls for because there are some brands that will tell you exactly to use the digital scale because you need to measure them by weight and there are just some resins that will tell you like oh just mix in ratio one to one without specifying what does that mean so that would probably mean by volume but unless you know exactly what to do well i would guess just uh, use the cup to measure uh, the exact volumes or whatever the ratio and instructions calls for and if you need to measure by weight of course you can use very simple super cheap um uh, scales, uh, digital scales. Uh, also, before we begin to work with the machine, um, I already showed you that it has like very simple touch and LED display with only three buttons that there is nothing to be confused about. But it's uh, an important thing here. Uh, this is to release air. So while we're working with this, this should be closed because we need this to be airless, right? It's a vacuum machine. But once we are done, we will open this. Um, to make sure the air comes out of the um, vacuum chamber and we can open it because otherwise we will not be open it yeah so just make sure that this is always closed when you receive it from the box it will be closed so nothing to worry about okay and there is actually nothing else i can um, talk about because this is a very simple design straightforward you just need to go ahead but um, now i'm living outside us and this plug will not work in my um uh plugs because they don't have this so either you can use uh like a universal kind of travel adapter i travel a lot so i have this and i can connect it um like this and just to make sure to choose the appropriate to the country i am plugs for example this is like a standard one when i'm here now or another option is that you can use uh, an extender like this also kind of universal thing and i can plug it directly here or if you have any other plugs that are not uh, standard for the area you live in so yeah there is like at least two options what to do with it so i'll just go ahead and plug it i think the cord is not super long i think it's like one meter probably so if you have next to your table um, a plug that will be very convenient and we are looking for this round hole we connect it and yeah that's done that's already connected oh also as i already uh, showed you during unpacking the chamber is quite big you can see it's very large and even if you have um, um 500 milliliters cups or even bigger but without like a handle big handle like this i think you can fit it in there so it's it's a pretty <laughs> like heavy duty for crafters of course purposes um machine um and you can use either the cups that come with uh, the machine or you can use any of your cups you can see this cup of mine already been through <laughs> a lot <laughs> and i of course can use it i can fit it here as i already um, showed you but not this time because i want to use the clear cup so you can see how the process uh, goes of removing the bubbles um and also what i wanted to talk about like why we even have this right this um does not cost um as less as uh, like a torch or a heat gun and we are fine without it why would uh, we need this so even though i have a torch and i also have um, like a small things that some um workshop recommends and um, some crafter use like this like right this is not a serious uh, tool but it does the job if you're doing something small like pendants or very little items uh, some people argue that it's not even about uh, removing bubbles after you mix it's how you mix so even they even use the milk throtters to mix well but i'm also not a big fan of those because you are mixing too fast when you do that 
and then even though you used any of these things you can still have the little bubbles on the surface the tiny bubbles not even the bubbles i will show you in a second like a bigger serious bubbles but tiny bubbles you can see here on light that will ultimately alter the surface and you will not be happy with this or bigger bubbles like here on the, on this surface you can see them right here in the middle i just i just shown you on a clear kind of dummy um pendant so you can see clearly and of course if you're doing something more pretty like um tray or um, coasters or anything that will be on display that would be very annoying if you end up having a, a bubbles on the deep on the side that was deep in the mold even though i went and made sure i go in all the crevices and all the curves of the mold when it was laying like this in in the liquid um, resin but when i unmolded it you can see that on the deeper side there are tons and tons and tons of little bubbles that of course this is i'm using in my bathroom and it was one of my first ever first like resin uh trays and like resin crafts but anyway that would be very annoying and especially if you are about to sell it and of course that would be even worse if you're doing something like this right and you need the surface to be absolutely beautiful and you don't need any bubbles and um like that may alter and worsen the look and while we can still use a, a heat gun absolutely there's nothing wrong with it and it's like cheap and it, it was working for ages why would it stop working now no it didn't stop working now and you can still use it even for trays or for um, pendants or for whatever you are using it and it will work good when you need to remove bubbles that are on surface so for example if you're using a thin layer of epoxy to just cover your painting to give it more durability and like a shiny look of course with a thin layer a torch is amazing it will work and you don't need to use as much resin of course it depends on the um sizes and dimensions of your art but anyway with thin layers heat gun works amazing of course if it's a quite powerful uh, heat gun that you already tested for small arts like this if it's not too thick and you didn't use a lot of layers or thick layers heat gun also may work but if you are producing crafts like for commercial use, if you are layering quite thick layers of resin in molds that you cannot in that mold control all the bubbles that form deep inside, this is even like a bad example. There are molds like vertical molds where I cannot control what's going on here on bottom. So to remove all the deep bubbles from resin, you can use a vacuum chamber, ultrasonic cleaner, like pressure pots uh, people were using actually some machines for quite quite a while but none of them became super popular like heat guns because before this machine um nothing was quite as lightweight and uh, simple in design and nothing was removal, removing the same deep bubbles they were either removing the superficial bubbles same as a heat gun or they were actually like a pressure pot if i'm not mistaken um they were creating bubbles within the chamber to to make like an effect of the more bubbles like bursting themselves. Again, I'm not a, a, phys a physics person, I'm not a scientist, I'm a crafter, so I'm explaining you uh, how I understand the things. So with the vacuum machine, we can remove deep bubbles from the, our premixed resin. And then when we use it, when we pour it, we can be sure that here deep uh, in the bottom of the mold or during curing process, there will be nothing happening. Okay, uh, I'm done talking. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was um, maybe longer than I expected, but I, I wanted to make sure I explain everything. So now let's get uh, to business and let's uh, mix uh, some resin and I'll show you. I'm, I, I cannot wait any longer. I want to see what's happening there. I'll put my um, gloves because, yeah, I'm messy. I'm sorry. And I recommend you working with gloves as well. I don't know if you have sensitive skin or like normal skin. I have normal skin, but still the resin when it sticks to it, it is horrible. Uh, so let's see, I'll use a resin that I need to measure by weight. So I'm using my um, small scales. We, we, we can see now that there are tons of bubbles, right? 
we are just going to leave it like that. And we're going to put the cup in the chamber. It's very easy. You just pull this up. You put the cup there. You put the thing down. And then if it's your first time and you're not sure, you can always check the uh, instructions. And there's all the pictures here. So we did the, the step one. Now we're going for the step two. We closed the hat. We made sure the, the silicone cup is plugged and covering the, the hole for the ear. And now we are just tapping our um, power button on top. And you can see what's happening. You can see that it's not really noisy. I'll get you to look close what's happening there. So we can see here the pressure goes up and when it reaches its maximum it will be the full effect of the uh, bubble elimination process. We can also see the time. The mode was five minutes. So the process of bubble removal will start soon, as soon as the pressure is at its maximum. Okay, now we can see that the five minutes, initial five minutes are down and we can remove the cup but we can see the bubbles are still there this is a pretty heavy duty resin and it's a pretty thick resin so there are two modes five minutes and nine minutes and i think i need to go now for the nine minute um for the nine minute one and let's see what uh, happens there so i'm turning it off and i am choosing the nine minute one and we're going again So I think I'm gonna go to another another um, round. Let's see, nine minutes. So I opened the, the plug to release the air and now I need to wait a little bit. You can see that now the resin is still clear. Yes, it's, it's said to be removing 99% of bubbles and I think it did remove 99% of bubbles. I will show you in a second when I remove the cup from the chamber. Okay, bubbles removed. Let's see if we can already, yes, so less than 30 seconds and we can already remove the cup. And here is our resin. This is absolutely has no bubbles. I will put like here the image how it was before. 
I'll do a screenshot before we start but this is impressive and as I said this is not a very good quality resin you can see even though it says it's a clear resin on the box it says it's a clear gloss high gloss resin you can see it is kind of yellow and I can tell you that it yellowed on my tray within less than two months but anyway I'm, I'm using it for my like home stuff and it's still a good uh, resin to cover paintings and um, my little trays that I don't mind uh, yellowing so even with this very kind of naughty and capricious resin the machine did an amazing job yes I was a little bit mm, impatient because I had to run three uh, repetitions so total it was uh, 24 minutes it is quite a long time compared to what we normally do and normally we don't do this <laughs> we don't wait 24 minutes uh, to mix the resin in 24 minutes uh, the first day it can be already done so the time wise I think for impatient people like me we are not gonna use the machine each time we do a simple craft but seeing the result especially if I know that I'm gonna sell the thing I'm doing right now or I wanted to gift it I will definitely use it I think my resin my first resin is not the perfect example so I'm gonna try a, um, a resin from a resin kit where this we also need to measure um, by weight so I got my scales here and for a bookmark, uh, we normally need around 15 grams of the mix. So uh, here the ratio is 2 for 1, 2 resin, 1 hardener. It's, um, so I need 10 grams of resin and 5 grams of hardener. I'll try to measure it as um, accurate as possible, but it's not very, it's not always easy. And let's see how quickly the machine will um, work with this small amount. I think five minutes should be more than enough. releasing the ear so in a few seconds we can remove the lid mm -hmm. it was in less than 30 seconds i'm removing our lid putting it here and let's see our cup and our resin it has no bubbles you can see here it's it's super clear you cannot even see if there is anything in the cup but there is So now I've tested the airless bubble removal machine by Resiners and what is my overall um, experience? Of course, technology-wise, like novelty-wise, this is wow. This is nothing I'd seen um, before as a, just a crafter. I don't know how about you, but I'm more like a crafter and artsy person. I am terrible at science and everything that is technology. I would never come up with anything like this. And even when I was researching this, people were using ultrasonic cleaners, like pressure pores, whatever. In my mind, I would never, I would never guess that you can use that. But anyway, um, it is true that compared to other tech um, supplies that you can use to remove bubbles, Resiner's airless bubble removal machine is probably the best. First, because of the simple and lightweight design. Um, I don't have a big fancy studio and I don't have um, like power and uh, time and bags to carry it around uh, with me because I'm also traveling. So for me, I think the design, the simplicity is very important. And also there's just three buttons for people like me. So we cannot, uh, we cannot get confused. I'm just clicking it and it does some sort of magic. So um, like technology wise, as I said, it's a very, it's a big step forward. And also design wise, it's a very um, clearly like they hit the goal because it looks cool. Uh, the color choice, the, the design, the simplicity of it, as I said, it's really cool. Now, what is more important for us, for crafters, 
if we are beginners or if we are if we are more experienced and we are already selling our art, it is the performance and how it is contributing to our overall performance as a crafter. So first, what is important for us is uh, how it is easy to use. It's like five out of five. It's super easy to use. There is nothing that can go wrong. Uh, like I consider myself, um, as I said already, more artsy person and less like tech uh, savvy person. But anyway, I did not mess up anything. And uh, you are not creating more mess because yes, we know we are working with presents. We're wearing gloves. We can wear masks and uh, it can get quite messy and if you get it on your skin or any other surfaces it's like a, quite a headache to remove it so this tool does not contribute to making more mess which is a good second thing it's our time because with resins time is oh, it's, it's a big deal it really matters because if we will drag the resin starts curing um, firstly if we're using um, like plastic cups the resin will start heating up in the cup which is not good and second of all it can start already curing if we will take too long while we are removing bubbles we plug it in the machine we figure out how it works so for the first few times i think uh it requires more time that i would use with a regular heat gun and this is something that i probably not not liking a lot and uh, um, also time related but also next point related the overall performance like how we do with resin does it really remove bubbles um, I had two runs with two different resins um, both are like craft quality resins now I'm currently outside US and I cannot get my hands on very good resins like art resin for example so I'm working with what I have and I'm also assuming that many beginners will have the resin what they have they cannot maybe still afford art resin because it's quite pricey so I think it's actually good that I'm tested it on like very average quality resins which are still working fine for many of my works so first resin was quite heavy and thick and it may be something wrong with resin but I had to do almost I was on the, my verge to do the fourth run to remove all the bubbles to get to this 99% of uh, eliminating all the bubbles which is for me a quite a long time if we're doing three sets of nine minutes um, each that's already a lot of time and of course my resin already started curing by that time so when I poured it just to test in a mold I can see that it's already like very gooey and it starts to hardening which is not good especially if I'm planning to work in layers and I need to do the first layer arrange some decorations or whatever and do the second layer or I'm planning to mix it with colors so this is a downside which is yeah you can fix it by using a good quality resins and also maybe this is something that um, can be used uh, uh, can be fixed um, by mixing more time prior to putting the resin in the chamber and the second one was with a uh, lighter resin clear resin just again uh, regular craft resin that I'm using to do small crafts like bookmarks or little canvas arts um, with resin the bubbles were removed within five minutes which is amazing which is good but the volume that I was using there were um, was less than one ounce which is very rarely we use that small volume normally and in my uh, first attempt i used three ounces and that is actually what the instructions are calling for to use like three ounces uh, batches to make it easier for the machine to remove the bubbles and faster for you so i'm not sure i i'm i didn't found yet the perfect uh, volume to use with the, the machine and that is my honest review that is my first go with the machine and I, uh, even though the brand did send me the machine we agree that i will give my objective and honest feedback right away so i'm not making 300 uh, <coughs> uh, videos just to make it perfect i'm showing how it was and i'm telling you the behind the scenes how it was so yes with two runs i think it could have been better and um <coughs> lastly the point that is also very concerning for most uh, beginners and even experienced crafters even the ones that are selling their art it's the price so if we have our regular heat gun it can be a cheap heat gun for like 10 11 dollars that will not quite remove all the bubbles it can be a more heavy uh, duty heat gun which would be pricier but of course it is still cheaper than the resiners um machine because resiners machine is around 150 dollars us dollars so what i think about that yes i think it is quite expensive for the majority of the beginners and if you are doing like flat art when you only need to do a thin layer you're covering your paintings or it's just very very thin molds that you're using um, some sort of trays or you are doing as i said like flat um, art over the painted acrylic painting for example just to protect it with resin or over a wooden tray like this one right this is my um ocean resin art if you're using like this then i would go with um heat gun 
because I used heat gun for this. There is no bubbles and I'm pretty satisfied with it. Yes, I used like a not super crazy quality um, resin, so it, it already started to yellow a little bit, but this is what I'm using in my bathroom and I'm fine with it. Um, if I would be to sell it, of course, I, I would need to have a very high quality resin. And also I would consider using the resiners machine because if I'm selling stuff, it means that I'm doing it in patches. I'm doing a few trays at once so I can premix a clear coat in a big um, cup I can remove all the bubbles in the resiners machine and I can clear coat all the three ten or whatever um, trays I'm working on now so that will be more efficient um, workflow for me um, but again if I'm a beginner the heat gun will be enough for me and also why and when I would consider getting the resiners uh, bubble machine it's um, as I said first when I'm doing it for commercial purposes and also when I'm working with them um, bigger molds especially if it's some sort of boxes phases something that you cannot really see what's on the bottom of it so you can really control um <clears throat> the deep bubbles that the machine can remove and you can make sure that you did all the preliminary work that might be necessary to make sure there were no additional bubbles however also what i noticed when i was uh, doing a uh, little arts with the uh, epoxy resin that i already ran through the machine that you need to be careful even with application yes the resiners are airless um, machine it vacuum chamber it removes 99 percent of the bubbles in that cup that you put in it but when you pour it in your mold you also need to be considerate how fast you pour uh, how thick the layer is because this is also can create bubbles and of course machine cannot remove these bubbles because we are already not inside the machine so it kind of makes sense still to have a heat gun because when you pour it and you see some small bubbles you can quickly remove them with a the heat gun so overall i would recommend the resiners um, airless bubble removal machine definitely it is the most unique technology um for now and this is th that looks super cool and just for the sake of experiment i was watching like for 18 minutes how the bubbles are um starting to crawl up and disappear just for the sake of science that was amazing if you have um, extra money or if there is any holiday coming up <laughs> you should hint uh, your um, loved ones or your family or your friends that you may want this but if you're just a beginner don't have a FOMO you are doing fine with your heat gun you will be okay with your first few art um, resin art uh, works and then if you already got some spare money or if you really 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 want to try the resiners machine you can buy it but don't get discouraged that now you don't have maybe 150 dollars to spend and test on the machine i tested it for you and i hope you found that review very useful again if you want to see the comparison with other tech related um alternative to remove bubbles you can check my um review my written review about it and there will be a comparison table with ultrasonic cleanup pressure pot and regular vacuum chamber and uh, of course a heat gun so yes thank you for watching and i hope your resin craft arts will have no pesky bubbles and will cure perfectly